On April 4th of this year, local business owner and longtime Key West resident Dan Kramer almost lost his life. Dan suffered severe injuries from a horrific workplace accident. Dan has remained in a coma ever since that day. Now, Dan has a wife here in Key West. Karen Kramer, he also has two daughters. So to help this family out during this very difficult time, there are a number of benefits that are being planned. We'll give you all the details this morning. Captain Mike, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure, Jenna. Thank you for having me. All right. On April 4th, the Kramer's life was forever changed, wasn't it? It really was. Dan runs his own uh, business. He's a, uh, an arborist. Uh, Dan's Tropical Tree Service, and he was trimming some trees at one of the local bed and breakfasts, and his bucket truck wouldn't allow him to get into the backyard to do the final tree, so he used a 20-foot ladder. And as he was fastening his safety harness, the limb that he was hanging on to broke, uh, and he fell into the into uh, to his left side and fell 20 feet onto the concrete. The, the results were catastrophic. Mm -hmm. And they didn't think Dan was going to make it that day. No, they really didn't. The uh, EMTs rushed to the scene. They, uh, both lungs collapsed, terrible loss of blood. The doctors used the word pulverized, all the bones on the left side of his body. They, got, uh, they restarted his heart. They stopped the bleeding. And they rushed him past the hospital right to the helicopter to up to Miami Rider Trauma Center. Uh, and he has been there in a coma going on now eight weeks. Wow. So it, it truly is a miracle that he's alive. But it, it sounds like the update, though, Captain Mike, is that he's still in this coma. Do they have any outlook as to when he might get out of the coma? Well, they don't, Jenna. The doctor said at best he would be there for at least seven months. Uh, the injuries were so catastrophic. Uh, he remains in the coma. The good news is he opened his eyes uh, about a week ago while we were there, but there's no sign of recognition or anything. There doesn't appear to be any paralysis, but mm -hmm. the, the brain tra uh, trauma to the brain was pretty severe. Okay, and I know that you and your wife are, are good friends of this family, so you've kind of decided to spearhead this whole effort. What are some of the benefits that are in the work right now, Captain Mike? Well, we're, I'm working with the uh, base commander. Uh, we're going to see if we can't access some of the facilities on the base to hold uh, additional uh, benefits. We did one at Boondocks on the 7th of, of May. Uh, they do a uh, bingo benefit uh, bingo every Tuesday, and we did a silent auction. Uh, we, we were also in the Key West Citizen and, and uh, the Conk Color. And uh, that word got out, and I did a couple uh, radio shows, so the community has opened up to us. I, I challenged them. I said, if one human family is more than just a bumper sticker, uh, this is a time to step forward because this family is uh, legitimately needs their, needs their help. They have no income, whatever. And uh, two little girls, uh, eight and ten years old, uh, they, they need our help. Mm -hmm. He's my best buddy. My spearfishing buddy, so <laughs> spearheading is probably a good, uh, a good phrase. <laughs> yeah. Decent, decent guy. He coaches little uh, uh, girls soccer. Uh, he's in an adult soccer league. So, boy, he's fit and strong. So, fortunately, mm -hmm. uh, he's able. If anybody could withstand the injuries that he suffered, Dan could do it. Mm -hmm. But we're at the point now where we need prayers and miracles because yeah. the, the, the injuries were pretty severe. Well, 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 they can happen, and it sounds like he has received, you know, that that miracle of still having a second chance at life. How are Karim and the girls? They're holding up really well. The, the girls at first were were really shocked, surprisingly, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, I mean, how would how would you react if your daddy was sleeping and, and wouldn't wake up? It's uh, it's traumatic, but mm -hmm. they get stronger with each passing day. They're up in the, the Rider Trauma Center. They have been up there the whole time since school is over. Now they they pulled them out of school. The, their school said they're A students. We're going to qualify them. They're done. Let them go be with their dad. This is uh, this is more important. Absolutely. Well, that is good news to hear. And if people want to help Karen Kramer and her family, you can just contact Captain Mike. He'll give you all the details that you need to know as to how you can help out. And I know any help would be appreciated for this family. Thank yes, you so much for being on. I, I thank you very much. The Dan Kramer Fund mm -hmm. was opened at Iberia Bank, and uh, people can make out uh, uh, checks 
to benefit him, the only person that can withdraw money from that account is Karen Kramer. Okay. Uh, and this is to, to clothe and feed the kids. Wonderful. Any help, again, w would be very much appreciated. All right. Thank you for being back on. I'll have you back on in a couple weeks to give us an update on Dan and Karen and the rest Great. of the My family. Great. My pleasure, Jenna. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me today. I hope that you'll be able to join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great day. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. 